Hey guys, you're watching Downski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this, not tutorial, this is a video about Adobe XD. It's the March update for Adobe XD. I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but you know what they say, better late than never. I'm gonna cover some of the changes in the March update for XD super quickly in this video. So we're gonna jump to the screen now and you can see I have the blog post up. If you want to check this out for yourself, there'll be a link in the video description. And I definitely recommend it actually, because each of the different key points from the update have a little video that Adobe have put together, usually between sort of two and five minutes, really informative and they clearly explain each point. Uh, I'm gonna do a really quick job of that now anyway. So we've got the March 29 release of Adobe XD, editable vectors in Illustrator, better font management, improved exporting and more. We'll scroll down, header image. Blah, 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 blah. Bit of reading there. New to XD, copy and paste editable vectors right into Illustrator. So for a while now, XD has had some integration with Illustrator. You could open up your Illustrator documents and Photoshop documents straight into XD. You could copy and paste things that you create in Illustrator. It might be some icons or vector graphics. You can copy and paste those straight into XD now and it retains a lot of the editable properties. This is something that I do a lot. In fact, you've probably seen this in some, in some recent XD tutorials. Now you can actually go back the other way. So you could copy and paste something from Illustrator to XD. You could do some things in XD or maybe you created it in XD from the start. You can now copy and paste that back into Illustrator and it still stays editable. So that process is just seamless in both directions now and I, Honestly, I absolutely love this. This is something that I'm gonna use quite a lot because I like I like creating a lot of my vector graphics in Illustrator. XD is great, there's a lot of stuff you can do straight in there natively, but for me, Illustrator, I've been using it for years and it just has a bazillion different tools for creating graphics. So now being able to just kind of go backwards and forwards seamlessly, brilliant, love it. Okay, and there's the video. You can see the video if you want to. Improved in XD easier than ever to mark elements for export. So I think before I might have missed this one actually in a previous video or previous update where you could um, mark certain elements to be exported. Whereas now in the latest version, anything that you, you copy and paste from Photoshop or Illustrator into XD is automatically marked for export because it's gonna be some kind of graphic or something like that. So when you kind of go to export everything, um, certain elements like that will be marked for export so you can then hand it over to a developer. Things like text is gonna be like coded and built by a developer so you wouldn't necessarily export that if it was like live text. So this is really, really cool. Speeds up that process. And if I jump into XD now, I can just show you really quickly as well. So I've created a, a nice dark gray circle here, lovely circle. And we've got this over here so we can click on this little icon from the layers panel, we can either mark it or unmark it for export. Now we can go over to the property inspector. We've got a checkbox there as well, mark for export, unmark for export, or we can right click and we get the same option there, mark for export. And we even have a shortcut as well, which makes it incredibly quick and easy to just select multiple objects and just use this shortcut and they will be marked for export. So that is pretty cool. Again, another video there if you want to check that out. Improved in XD, missing fonts will now load automatically. So this is really, really cool. Just kind of when you're working with other people, teams and all this kind of stuff, you, you do get missing fonts. It just, it's something that happens, font issues. And uh, now uh, it's even easier to load both fonts from the Adobe Fonts Library and manage non-Adobe fonts right in XD, as it says here. And if you have uh, fonts that are synced with Adobe fonts, if you don't have them on your computer when you open a file, according to this, XD will just go and get them, sync them all in the background. So you just got them right there. No fuss, no hassle, completely hands off. You don't have to do anything. It will just find those fonts, sync them. You're all good to go. So that's really, really cool. Just one less thing to have to worry about. Okay. Improved in XD, selecting objects across groups for easy editing. This is really cool, so I like this. You've, um, I like it all actually. So in XD, you create a lot of groups as well. And if you've been following my auto animate tutorials recently, creating groups for things to animate together is essential. But of course, you don't wanna have to ungroup those things if you need to go and make changes to one element within that group. What you can now do in XD 
is you can you can group loads of stuff together. So you've got all your groups. You can hold down Command or Control, depending on whether you're on a Mac or a PC, and you can click to select an object within a group. So you don't have to ungroup it. You can select an object uh, within that group. And now this isn't something that is new. This has been around for a while, but what you can do now is you can also hold down Shift as well as Command and Control, and you can select multiple objects within a group. In fact, you could select two objects within a group by holding down Command, Control, and Shift and clicking. You could then go onto another artboard. You could keep those keys held on your keyboard. You could select another object or another layer from that. You could then go onto another artboard and with those keys still held, you could select, let's say, three or four different objects all from within that group. So you can now select all of these different objects that are being grouped together across multiple artboards, um, which is incredibly useful if you wanted to select specific objects without ungrouping anything. But also with Mark for Export, you can now just go through your entire document, select all the ones that you want, all the layers, and just mark them for export, regardless of whether they're grouped, ungrouped, um, you know, a really simple yet effective change there. Okay, new in XD, hide navigation controls for improved usability testing. So if you've created a prototype and you shared that for review, what happens is you'll load it up in a web browser and you've got the prototype. Someone can use it, go through it, and it's, it's fine. Underneath the prototype, you've got little arrows that can kind of allow you to navigate backwards and forwards through the screens and you can even click the home button to go home. The problem with this is that it does enable the user to circumvent going through the prototype as you've intended. So for something like user testing, um, it's incredibly useful now to be able to disable and turn off that navigation under the bottom of the prototype and also you can disable any hot spots or hints that pop up encouraging the user to uh, click in this particular place. So essentially when testing now you can present a user with a design and if they don't know where to go you're going to get a much more authentic reaction because they will look confused, lost and they won't be able to continue. Whereas before they were like hotspot hints to tell them where to go and you had that navigation underneath so they could scroll through the prototype. Now, if they get stuck, they get stuck. And well, it's gonna highlight some problems in your prototype that you can then fix. So I'm just gonna show you where you get to those quickly. Oh, we've got a lovely circle still there. Amazing prototype is all done. Just go up to share, share for review. And you can see here, show hotspot hints, show navigation controls. You can now turn both of those off and click create link. And it will disable that for your prototype when being viewed in a browser, but there we go. There's a quick look at the March update for Adobe XD. Apologies, it is a little bit late, but better late than never, as I say. But if you've got any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care, see you next time.